Amen. As we approach, amen, this particular text on this morning, um, I'm reminded, amen, of the fact that we have so many different religions in the world. Amen. And a lot of people are confused, amen, and they really don't understand um, what these religions consist of. Somebody say amen. amen. And I was having a talk with my uh, granddaughter on the other day. And as we were talking, she was asking me some questions. And she was saying, she was trying to get a feel and an understanding. And she was saying to me that if we have all of these different religions, how do we know which one is right? Somebody say amen. And she kind of pulled on my intellectual brain for a minute. And then I began to talk to her from an intellectual standpoint. After a while, I realized that I cannot give you this answer from an intellectual standpoint. And I have to move from an intellectual standpoint and move to a physical, or rather a spiritual standpoint. I had to just come out and tell her because no matter what I was saying to her, it just wasn't making no sense. I was explaining to her at first from an intellectual viewpoint Amen. That we know that we're serving the right God because, amen, we start off with the word of God. And with the word of God, you realize that every religion that's founded on the earth, we have so many thousands of religions today. Amen. Everybody got their own religion. And that's why I tell folk, amen, it's one thing to be religious. It's another thing to be saved. Somebody say amen. Religion will carry you to hell. Amen. Religion is just like the nose on your face. Everybody got one. Somebody say amen. The song said, I've got good religion. Thank you, Lord. Certainly, Lord. But I don't try to keep good religion. I want to make sure my soul is saved. Religious folk can come to church every Sunday and feel no conviction. Religious folk can stay home from church and feel no conviction. Religious folk govern their own lives. But when you're saved, you are governed by God. Somebody say amen. I began to explain to her that, amen, number one, we understand that, amen, every religion has its foundation somewhere. They had to come from somewhere. And if you study long enough, you'll find out that most, while well, every religion has their foundations out of the word of God. Amen. They have born their ideology, their philosophy. Amen. Out of the word of God. And from the word of God, they have created their own religion. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, here's my thing. I said to amen, if you want to start with the word of God, you might as well finish with the word of God. Can you shout hallelujah? If the word of God is good to be the premise from which you base your religion, then you might as well stick to the word of God. Can you shout hallelujah? Amen. The word of God is the only infallible book that has never, amen, contradicted itself. It is correct geographically. You can trace it back, amen, to the lands that's in the Bible are the same lands that's in the world today. It is correct chronologically. Somebody say amen. You can trace it back through the history and through time. Can you say amen? amen. The word of God is the only book that, amen, is uh, don't just tells, amen, the present, but it tells the past, present, and the future. Amen. You can read the word of God 20 years ago, amen, and it'll tell you what's going to happen 20 years later. Somebody say amen. The word of God is the only book, amen, that projects itself through time and space. Can you shout hallelujah? And these religions, amen, they pop up. And, and I'm not picking on any particular religion, but we have all types of religions out there. And you must understand a lot of these religions were born of the flesh. Some of them were born, amen, to keep women bound. Some of 
of these religions, amen. And that's what I love about Jesus. When Jesus came on the scene, amen, you'll find that, yeah, he had all these men following him, but he also had women and children following him too. Somebody say amen. You'll see that, amen, amen, after all, you'll see all of these, amen, these men, these multitudes following him, and then it'll say, and the women and the children. When he fed 5,000, that was only 5,000 men. It didn't even include the women and the children. Somebody say amen. Some religions are born, amen, out of egotistical man's mind. They do it to keep their self a charge above everybody else. But the Bible, amen, the word of God, amen, is not just a man's book. Neither is it just a woman's book, but it is the word of God. It is the embodiment of the thought and the mind of God. I tell people everywhere you ought to read your Bible. Amen. We got to be living in a day when folk don't read their Bible. The only time a lot of preachers read the Bible is if they got preached. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. The only time Christians read their Bible is when they need a scripture, amen, to throw at somebody. I'm going to find that scripture. Oh, yeah, that's what you think? I got something for you. You need to turn to somebody say amen. Yeah, but the word of God is not to be used, amen, outwardly. No, God's word is to be used inside. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. And so uh, I began to share with my granddaughter that, amen, we know who God is based on the fact that uh, we know there's a God based on the fact that we didn't get here by ourselves. It was not a result of a Big Bang theory. Somebody say amen. This was not a cosmic explosion that made us to be here. Amen. I began to explain to her that we didn't get here, amen, because we evolved. We didn't come from being a fish to being a monkey to being a man. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. No, it was a design from God. We are here for purpose. Look at somebody tell them, I'm here on purpose. And I began to explain to her that I know God is real. I began to talk about the external side. And then something jumped in my spirit. And I said, you know what? Let me just put it to you this way. I know God is real. Because I can feel him down in my... Oh, I wish I had somebody here. Is there anybody in this house that if I don't have any physical, amen, a physical, amen, information or physical clue or physical definition, one thing I know, something on the inside tells me there's a God help me hold it right Oh, look at somebody tell them God is real. Amen. The world need to understand God is real. You, you'll be surprised, and I'm almost done. You'll be surprised with the people in church that don't even believe God is real. I'm talking about the Bible talking. I'm talking about the hip, hip slapping. I'm talking about, amen, the foot dance and uh, the song singing, the testimony. Amen. Three hour testimony saints that really don't even believe God really exists. Why would you say such a thing, Apostle? Because if you believe God exists, you would want to serve Him. I got to close this book. If you believe God exists, it will make you turn your life over to Him. Somebody say amen. Uh, the songwriter said, I'm above my head. I hear music in the air. And I really do believe there is a God. You can't make me doubt Him. I know too much about Him. You can't make me doubt God. In my heart, touch somebody, look at them and tell them, you can't make me doubt them. Amen. They're coming up with all kinds of new stuff. Amen. All kinds of new theology and new doctrines and new philosophy and new, amen, ideology. And they're telling you, amen, that you're God. Uh -huh. That's what they say now. You already God. That you God. You God. You a fool. If there's anything I know for sure, two things for certain, that is that I'm not God. Somebody shout hallelujah. I didn't make myself. I would have made myself. I probably would have made myself a little bit different. Y'all, y'all want to be real, but the truth of the matter is that you would have created yourself. You might have did something a little bit more differently. Some of you women, you would have did things a little bit more differently. You would have put curves in different positions. You would have, you would have made something better. Some of y'all would have made your nose longer. Some of y'all would have made your nose shorter. And come on, brothers, talk to me. You know if you had the power, the ability to create yourself, you would have made triceps and biceps and you would have had a six-pack. You would have had a sixteen-pack. Y'all ain't going to talk to me yet. We didn't make ourselves. We don't have the power to create 
ourselves. Amen. But I want you to know on this morning, as we get ready to close, there is a God. Uh, come on, help me testify. Look at somebody and tell them, there is a God. Uh -huh, there is a God. Now, every child that is born, amen, into this world, we call the child a wonder. Because, amen, it's a wonder, y'all, when you look at, amen, the process, amen, of childbirth. When you look at, even, uh, the process of uh, pregnancy, it's a wonder. How is it that God can create a person to birth another person? Somebody say amen. Have you ever studied and wondered about, amen, the process of childbirth and, 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 and how miraculous it is, how wondrous it is, how detailed it is. Amen. Every creature has the ability to procreate and, and to create himself over again. And so it is with mankind. We have the ability to, amen, procreate. Amen. When a man knows a woman and a woman knows a man, they have the ability, amen, to procreate, which means uh, the woman becomes impregnant, which means, uh, amen, the DNA from the man uh, goes inside of the woman, and somehow the woman eggs, amen, are attracted to the man's DNA, uh, and the man's DNA and the woman's DNA come together and performs uh, a child. Somebody say amen. And the wondrous, miraculous thing happens that nine months later, or if the baby is, in, is called premature, it might happen a little sooner, but sooner than later, later than sooner, a baby is born. Somebody shout hallelujah. What a wonderful thing God has created. That's why I tell people, there's nothing like a woman on the earth. My sister should have said something. Amen. There's nothing like a woman on the earth. Thank God for men. Thank God for the ability. Amen. To be strong and protective. But there's nothing like the ability to house another body inside your own body. Women, you ought to thank God every day that God created you to be a woman. I've got a problem with women that are not happy being women because they want to be a man. Well, they won't talk to me here. Uh, God created you special. Somebody shout hallelujah. He created you significant. He created you better than he created the man because he gave you more. Uh, everything you give a woman, uh, she'll give it back to you with more. Uh, I can prove it to you. If you give a woman hell, uh, she'll give it back to you with more. Uh, if you give a woman love, uh, she'll give it back to you with more. Uh, you want to have trouble in your life? Uh, give a woman some hell. Uh, she'll take that hell. Uh, Put it in the oven and make you a hell pie. Why are you going to talk to me here? The Bible says hell have no scorn. Hell have no fury. Like a woman scorned. Somebody say amen. You get a woman bad enough. My God, one way is that I'd rather be on the rooftop than to dwell in the house with a contentious woman. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because one thing about a woman, whatever you give her, she want to give it back to you. Amen. A happy wife is a happy life. But a miserable wife is a miserable life. Somebody shout hallelujah. When God created a woman, he put things inside of her that he did not put in a man. A woman has the ability to take nothing and make something out of it. That's why they take that shack that you put them in and called it an apartment. That a little apartment, that was a shack. But a woman can take a shack and turn it into a palace. I wish I had some help here. I know y'all hot and tired and bothered, but I won't preach and get out of here. Thank God for the women, because a woman won't stop. A woman won't cease. A woman won't give up. A woman will stay there and wait for that man for years to come. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank God for creating a woman. A woman will pray for you. There's a lot of men that I go to for prayer. When I need prayer, there's some women that I go to and I know that the 